What the fuck are you doing? Entertaining myself. Hey everybody, I'm a demo and I'm joined with a Rob. Fuck Vince. Just fuck Vince. I have no idea where he is. I, you know, I'm done. I'm done. He's gonna, he's just gonna be a permanent X. Circle with an X on it in the, in the thumbnail, okay? If, you cool with that, Rob? Yep. Alright, so. Um, I didn't upload the video, the, the part where we call Ladias because it just boiled down to like five minutes. Otherwise, it's just us running around wondering what to do. But we caught Latias. And she's timid. Use the Master Ball on her. I kind of wish she had a dragon move to. Just to make sure we had, like. I don't know. We have three psychic types, so. Eh. I, I don't know. Anyway, what the fuck am I doing here? Shit! Don't go, though. Fucking. What am I doing in Cherry Grove? No, I can barely hear you, Rob. Come close to your microphone. Fine, give me a sec. Quit doing whatever you're doing over there. Stop it. Hey, Vince. I actually okay. hate Vince. So I have no idea why you're in <laughs> I think I just, I think I just like came back to Johto and then just stopped. Didn't even bother going to where we were. Alright, so we beat Sprout Tower of the gym here. Where the hell do we go now? Where do we go now? Well, usually it's Azalea Town. Oh yeah, Azalea. That useless ass place. But we can also just go this way. And get up to fucking Whitney. Ow! Oh! Fucking god damn it. Probably a, probably a bug catcher of shit. shit. You're a bug catcher, man. Heckin' goddammit. Heckin' heck twinkle. Man. Man. This sucks. This sucks. Oh, by the way, Rob. Yeah? Um, so, since we last recorded, so, uh, there, there have been some certain things regarding... A particular fr franchise we both love. There have been some things that were revealed, and you know I don't think I don't think we've talked about it at all on the channel. Sword and shield. No fucking guillotine. What? Yeah, sword and shield. Oh, you got guillotine. That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's funny. But yeah, Sword and Shield. We talked, didn't we talk about it last time we recorded? I think that was one of the Octopath streams. Oh, yeah, it was the Octopath stream. Well, okay. Well, let's talk about it now. Rob, yes, what are your but... initial thoughts? I love it, and I love all three of them. They're amazing. The starters are amazing. I don't care what anyone says. Okay, okay. Well, what about the game? What about from what we saw them from the trailer? I want to play it now. I knew you were a pokey fanning bitch. I want to play it now because the only other Pokemon games I have are the old ones, and I don't really want to do any of their tutorials again. Yeah, fucking low res old ones. Fuck those games. No, I still like Hot Gold and Who Soul fucking Silver. even plays oh. Game Boy games anyway? Who fucking... who? Idiots, that's who. I, I just need someone to play the fucking Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon tutorial for me. The joke is that we're playing one right now. I know, I can see that. I don't care. <laughs> the joke you were gonna get. Whatever, you don't... Nobody ever likes my jokes, you know? I know, right? Isn't that weird? It's like they're always bad. Uh, how dragon just try to dragon breath Mimi? Yeah. Ooh, hi dragon. Yeah, hi dragon. Yeah, you want to? You maybe want to? Well, never mind. You can just keep talking. We'll keep converse <laughs> conversing. 
So, uh... Well, my thoughts on Sword and Shield so far, like... All we've seen from it is the, um, the first, the initial reveal trailer, and... I'm a little disappointed that the graphics aren't, like, mind-blowingly amazing like Breath of the Wild or Mario Odyssey, but... It's better than Let's Go. I think purely because... First of all, they use these actual textures instead of, like... Like, they use have actual textures on the the environments. Like, if you compare... If you compare Let's Go and Sword and Shield side by side, you'll know what I'm talking about. And also because... The region just the region just looks overall better than Kanto. Because most of the screenshots in Kanto are freaking like just the same grassland and it's it just gets boring. I liked I liked seeing all the very diverse God damn it, Scizor. I like seeing all the diverse landscapes. There was a pretty cool forest. There was that big hill with the guy on it. And there was yeah, you know what? I, so far it's I don't hate it. I I like it to be honest, but I'm just saying it could be better. They certainly have the budget to make it better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and I, I like the starters too. Um, if I were to order them from my least favorite to favorite, I'd go... What? Monkey. Bootleg Mudkip. And Bunny. <laughs> yeah. Okay. God damn, Bubbles. I might also be in that order, but I still don't know because I don't know the evolutions. Okay. Yeah, that yes, and also I I like all three of them a lot. Yeah. Can we also like? I know this is fake. This is probably can be been confirmed fake, but I saw like you know ever since the. Ever since those Alolan started, Alolan Evolution starters leaked, like people have just been trying to replicate that so much, like it's just really stupid. But there's there's been one that I really love. It's it's the one with the Jet Bunny for a Score Bunny, and I really like that. I really like that evolution. They're not gonna they're not gonna do anything like that, but I want it. And the other two ain't so bad either. They're all really good at the first stage, so we just have to see how much they can stick to the landing. It. What if they pull a 180 and make it so that Score Bunny evolves into a quadruped? I'm okay with that, because bunnies do go on all fours. They do. But they're not going to, and we know they're not going to, so why yeah. are we inside? And I can also say this, I know that they've been, like, throwing curveballs with the secondary typing for fighting, or for fire, but it kind of feels like they're, they really will go for firefighting this time. I mean, like, it's obvious that Score Bunny is based on, like, soccer players or football, as the UK be people call it. But, like, what else would you associate with sports other than fighting? Um, not shit shit. Fire, firefighting's a good type. It's so... It... Okay. I like two of the three firefightings we have. Yes. The other one's annoying and stupid. You're talking about... You're, you're calling the annoying one Embor, right? Because Embor's yes. kind of meh. <laughs> Yes, I'm calling Ed Boy annoying and stupid. You would have the right to sh punch me in the face if I called either Blaziken or Infernape stupid. Yeah, don't do not do that. You're an absolute they fool are, if you do that. They are amazing, and I love them both. Infernape more than Blaziken, but still. So what are your other thoughts for um, Sword and Shield? Okay, the photos look great. The trailer was awesome. Um, the region is most definitely the UK. Yeah. Even though people keep making the, the, uh, what's it called? The, the female trainer Scottish. Well, she can't have 
they also have Scottish undertones, but they're most definitely the UK region. Yeah. Um, I like the trainer's designs. Again, the goal is always better than the boy. The guy looks weird with his fucking backpack. Oh, trunk. <laughs> or fine, back trunk. Because I don't have a backpack anymore. It's just a giant trunk on his back. Damn, girl, I know you got that junk in the trunk. <laughs> Future day might have left track. <laughs> wow. Uh, I mean, they're okay. Um, they're okay. I like the designs. They're alright. Um, I wish we knew what the professor was studying or who the professor was. Yeah, yeah, I I can't wait for him to be like doing nothing and contributing to nothing and have sexual undertones. Well, he's all all professors contribute nothing. Oh well, yeah. And at least well, and at least two of them had had sexual undertones. Two. Mm hmm. What were you talking about? <laughs> you talking about sycamore? Sycamore. I wouldn't really. Mm. I mean, people find him hot, but I wouldn't really call him a sexual predator. Predator, unlike. But I call anyone someone. a sexual predator, but still, they are very weird professors. If I can just interrupt you right now, it's really fucking great of me to like get rid of my dark type right as soon as we face a ghost type, Jim. I know, right? That was the best decision you ever made. I is smart. Anyway, continue. Oh, what? Who are you? What? Time out. Huh? Go back into your team. Go back into your team. What? 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 Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, the levels? Yeah. <laughs> I th His ace is level 60. I thought you were talking it. I thought you were surprised that we had a lot of Yas, even though we- even though I explicitly said that. No, his ace is level 60. Go All fight right. the kimono. Oh, kimono? Go fight the kimono. Okay. Um, Like, I'm pretty sure I've said this before, but... I really could not give any less of a fuck about characters in Pokémon. Like, human characters. Like, they're always just so boring. They're, like, so non-important. I never really cared about them. Like, and, unless the rare... Please. Like, there's the rare exception, like, Cynthia. Cynthia's cool. Yeah. You can also fight these guys over and over again, by the way. Okay. Which, which one is the one with Flareon? Not that one. <laughs> oh, they're also level 60. Yeah, good. Thanks, Rob. Well, I thought they had, like... Five. It's okay. Two at KO. Shit. Nope. It's a good thing this isn't they the nerf type of potion. God damn it. They do give you 12,000 each, though. Yeah. Okay, so... Eh, I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Characters to, in Pokemon are just, like... Boring. I mean, like... Yeah, boy. I guess... Uh, um, Flareon's the one in the middle. Okay. I mean, come from, like... I guess I've never really shared this on, on the channel, unless you've been paying attention to my Twitch streams, but... I'm a Closet Earthbound fan. And, for those who don't know that, Closet. those games... Oh. Yes. Like, Earthbound has some really, really quirky dialogue and characters that just makes... makes them really memorable, even though they, like, don't really do anything. And just, like, I just wish that Pokemon would kind of do that, like, have fun dialogue, just... Dialogue that isn't desperately trying to make, like, sexual implications. Like, stuff that tr isn't really trying to be edgy, just try just have fun with it. You know, you know, you know what I mean, Rob? Yeah. Remember in Gen 7 bit. when... I didn't see Kukui as being that weird. I'm not even Did talking about, like, a Kukui, because, like... There are all these, like, sexual undertones in Sun and Moon for, like, no reason. 
Like if you talk to that Magmar, he, he like says like, "Hey, pulled out this item from somewhere. Don't ask." And then there's this fucking sex doll in Olivia's house. It's really popular okay, with yeah, adult trainers. Yeah, that was a thing. Yeah, like it doesn't really need to be sexual to be like. It doesn't need to be jaw dropping to be memorable. It just make it fun and quirky. I just wish they'd do, they'd do something like that. Yeah. You took- you could go technically fight Morty, but we might not live. Um, you lied to me, Rob. I think you have to fight- No, I think you have to fight them all. God damn it. And then come back. Shit. The thing is, like... All these Pokémon don't do anything to ghosts, so... They pour on is kind of my only hope. Yeah. All right, we'll just comp. God, why does Volt Absorb not absorb that? Oh. That's stupid. Also, why does it have Pin Missile? What the fuck? It learns that. It's stupid. Uh. Okay, correction. Who uses Pin Missile? The Kimono Girls. Apparently. Okay, and going back to, like, actual Pokemon discussion, I remember in the yeah. Direct, like, after they, like, after they were finished, like, presenting Sword and Shield, they were, they were saying that, um, they were having, they had more projects in development, so that kind of, that kind Indeed. of implies that they could have more spin-offs, you know, spin-offs. Everyone loves those, right? Yeah. It's I mean, the best. I'm joking, but I do enjoy the good spin-offs, like Mystery Dungeon and the Shadow Pokemon games and Conquest. Yeah. Well, I bring this up because I I said this in like the end of the Poke Park LP, Poke Park Two. I really wish they would go back to making. Well, Game Freak doesn't make the spin-offs, it's just other companies being outsourced, but... I really wish they would go back to making well-developed spin-off games... ...instead of the frickin' cash-grab... ...cash-grab microtransaction mobile shit they keep they keep churning out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone does. Yeah. Because I remember when Super, Super Mystery Dungeon was revealed, everyone was complaining like, Oh, talk this, is, this isn't talk what... To the old man. What? Oh, old man. Yeah, above the house. Nothing. Okay, maybe that's after you do that. Okay. But yeah, when Super Mystery Dungeon was revealed, everyone was... Everyone was, like, really upset because they wanted, like, Diamond and Pearl remakes or Gen 7, but... Oh, no, no it's bad, old man. After you beat all of them. Nope. And like, oh, they give you twelve thousand each. Getting in entering to fight them up on the. Oh, I don't know why it didn't work. I don't want to try that. Mm -hmm. So like, the thing is, I just, well, I really, I miss the well-made spinoffs. So I want them to go back to that. Me too. You like the spinoffs, Robert? Need a conquest too. Top was two would be really good. Well, here's the thing, I. I kind of want them to like. I kind of want them to do 2D. If they did Conquest 2, I want. I kind of want them to do, to do 2D, kind of similar to the art style of Disgaea. Because I don't really, I don't really know what I would. I don't really think I'd like it in 3D. I just don't know. I probably won't either. But it just needs to um. Make it in a traditional Japanese art style. I just want something good. <laughs> yeah. They said they had more stuff coming. Give us some more stuff already. What if they make a fourth Pokemon Ranger game? How'd you feel about I'd that? I'd be okay with that. Would you? I'd be okay with Circles the game. I like playing Circles. Are you sure? Because they might yes. they might use motion controls with that for the Joy-Cons. Never mind, no circles, fuck that shit. <laughs> oh. 
As soon as I mention motion controls. Fuck that. I do feel like that is something they would do. The Joy-Con are okay, but I'm not using them to draw circles. I mean, maybe they could, like, kind of do a reboot of the series and make it actually fun to where you can actually use the Pokemon you capture and fight in fights. You know, like actual that's fucking rangers do in the anime? The anime? Okay, yeah, that's what the rangers do in the anime, but... The me? games are fucking like boring, Pokemon Rob. Ranger. I liked Pokemon Rangers. It was fun. I played them as a kid, and... Eh. I got stuck on Dra the Drapian boss, though, for like... Five months, and then quit playing it, and then played it again and beat him immediately. The Steelix boss in the first game made me quit. <laughs> That's what Drapian did. I got to Drapian, couldn't beat it, quit, and then like a year later I played it again and beat it instantly. Me. Anyway. Pokemon Ranger, what's another spin-off you'd like to see? Ranger Conquest. Obviously the Shadow Games. Yeah. Shit, yeah, that would be amazing. Actually, mm, game in that region. I'd only be okay with it if they didn't use the, if they didn't use the same models as they, as they are now. Cause I like I like the models more as, I like the models they use in the other games more. Let's make HD versions of that, please. Um, snap. That's something people want. That would be the only one. that would be the only one I would use motion controls on. I don't care. They took only a complete shit all over freaking snap fans with the Rotom thing. Yeah, that was terrible. That was actual shit. Game Freak, please don't ever do that again. Of all the things, like you keep removing all these features, remove the bad ones and keep the good ones. Also, don't make your new bad mandatory feature mandatory. Please. I don't even want to do it once. If I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. Fuck off with your shit. It sucks. Don't do it. Fuck the Festival Plaza.